Hey everybody, it's Chris from Tipton and Hearst, and today's Happy is going to be working with some silk hydrangea. So, I'm being kind of lazy again today. I have an order for something very similar to this in a different container, although these are our containers, but it's another bowl. So, what we do is we always put things in liners so it can be popped out quickly. So, on this liner, it's a hard loamy liner, like a dish liner. And then what I've done is I've taken two blocks of Sahara foam, which is made for silks, and I always cut the ends off, the, just like I cut the end off here on the top, I do the same thing on the bottom. So when I glue these down, there's not tension, so it goes directly flat into the dish. And then I've gone back and wedged a few pieces of hard foam in there just for extra security, but I did pan glue this in. The glue that we've used before, I used pan glue to hold that in there. Now, someone's gonna go, someone will go ahead and ask, do I not glue the flowers in? I very, very rarely, glue flower, silk flowers in unless I need it just for the added stability but when you're doing more clutch design like on these not really necessary because I'm going to cut the stems long enough that they should insert into the foam about an inch deep or so so go back and I'm going to put my green moss around which a lot of times that's kind of a waste but anyway it's just old habit for me Oop, I should have taken the tags off these and I didn't so I'm gonna use different shades of blue. So here's one shade. And these are around $11 before the discount, which we have all of our silks at 50% off right now. So you're looking at about 650. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of lamb's ear, a little bit of greenery, uh, like an ivy vine. That's not really ivy, it's almost like a wandering Jew. And then we have a little bit, we have a couple different styles of hydrangea. Now this hydrangea pick is made by National Imports and it's strictly for clutch work because it's a short, compact stem. You're not paying for all that. A lot of times, like on things like this, you're paying for the extra length of the stem. Now I'm using this because I like the color. I'm gonna use it right on the top. But on these other ones, I'm gonna use a less expensive stem because I really just want the head, the hydrangea head. Then we use some white ones. And then last but not least, if we still want to, we may go back and add a few white roses on the very top. So, with that being said... I'm Is that ahead. the new cutter? No, it's not a new oh. cutter. It's an old cutter. The new cutters came in. The new cutters are in. I know. I put them, on your, put them in the window uh, so They came from the warehouse yesterday. We're going to have some happy customers going Good. with those going out the door. And I expected that box to be pretty heavy, but it wasn't. I know. Well, I moved it off the table today it for a meeting. Me. I think there's probably only one cutter in there. There probably is. That's about right. <laughs> they pulled us again. Anyway, so as I insert these, I'm doing these in an angle. And if you look at it, I'm actually making sure that the, that the head of the hydrangea kind of goes right over the edge. So we have lots of friends on today from awesome. Houston, Maryland, West Virginia, Minneapolis, Illinois. Um, North Carolina, Indiana, so how is Rhode every, Island. How is everyone in North Carolina doing with the weather? And I, like and I saw a friend in and South Carolina and yeah, ooh, tornadoes man. and all kinds of crazy stuff going on. So this silk is actually from Windward. I'm only going to use one of these. Is that the soft touch ones? Mm -hmm. That's because I picked up the wrong one walking down here. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Oh we well. We have high from Poland, New Jersey, oh, Shreveport, good. Pennsylvania, Alabama, Louisiana. I'm going to get these stems out of the way. For so you. someone asked, how much is the cutter? Is it 150, 149? 149. 149. And I think we have three extra if the right ones are in the box. There's yeah. three extra. Yeah. So on this one, I'm going to take these leaves off. That way I can get a good cut right in there. So Miss Joy from North Carolina Co. said it's pretty bad. There's a lot of rain and some wind. Yeah. Must have been a lot of tornadoes too, wasn't it or something? Did I hear that correctly? I'm not sure, probably so. Oh goodness. So someone asked, are these silk or are these real? Everything today is silk. All of our silk friends that always oh, want to see well, silk. Always silk. Today's We're, your day. Today's your day. So, I'm just tucking these off. So I'm gonna go ahead and disperse all my different colors of pink throughout the whole thing. And the reason why I mix that up is because naturally, from the garden, you're always gonna have different variations of blue because of the soil and the bush. And also, different variations of blue depending on how mature the flower is. If it's a fresh, you know, a younger 
uh, immature bud, then it'll be a lighter blue. The darker it gets, you know, with the way it's matured. So we have a few people saying that they want a cutter. So if you do want a cutter, just message us on Facebook and then I'll give you a call this afternoon and we'll take care of that. Yep. So Miss Sandy, who you did her bunny. Yes. Doble, she said she loves it. Oh, good. Because she made it home okay with it. I'll get rid of those so I can make some space. So now I'm going to go back and actually add a few of these out to the edge. We have a friend, a family member, happy family member, that said it is pouring down rain in Ro Rhode Island. Oh my goodness. Well, as long as you don't lose your power and you don't get flooded, I think it'll be a good day. I'm going to spin that around. Tommy Lyons, so Lyons yeah. is watching. Oh, cool. Miss Bonnie said they had tornadoes in New Jersey. They don't normally get tornadoes in New Jersey, do they? I'm not sure. Someone asked, do we have Bells of Ireland in silk? We, we do. do. Yes. We have tons of different sizes in that. So this is a less expensive hydrangea as well. Like this is $10, which would be $5. For the size, it's a great value. The only downside about it, it's got like this really wacky color in the middle of it. So I'm definitely going to use these in deeper so I don't see that, see that weird green. It's kind of like, what happened? So someone asked, how much is a cutter? It's $149. And um, someone said, how do you explain to a client the difference in a, like, nice silk and a... Well, so normally nice silk. you can tell by looking at it. Now, that sounds silly, but it's the truth. Especially like these soft touch ones. Where'd that one go? You, you definitely can look and tell, plus the color variation is different on it. A lot of times the less expensive flowers aren't going to have a lot of different color value to it, where a, a better silk is going to have different variations of color, so it looks a, lo a little bit more, a whole lot more natural actually. But with that being said, silks have come along, oh, about lost those, come a long way. So the less expensive ones are getting pretty good looking compared to the real expensive ones so we have a few people asking how much is this container Did the bowl look? the bowl the bowl is 136 this one actually has i was not going to tell you but i'll go ahead and tell you anyway a little bit chip right there so it's going to be an um, extra markdown but we have all kinds of other bowls that are just without that flaw but i think someone chipped it when they were putting it out it wasn't me, so it anyway. wasn't you. Yeah, it wasn't I got me either. One hydrangea. Hang on. So we have <laughs> other people asking about the cutter. The cutter is a hundred and forty-nine dollars. Yep. We've already had someone message us that wants one. So great, Mr. Steve or Miss Kathy. Um, they said that they are late today, but they made it. Oh, good. Well, I'm glad you're here. So now we're going to go back and add just a little bit of extra greenery to it. I'm going to take these are going to be two stems of this artificial lamb's ear. You know, that's kind of the new it flower, I mean, it greenery as far as texture. Doesn't take much. I'm just going to put just a little bit here and there to break this up so it looks a little bit more natural. How long will a real hydrangea arrangement last? Um, well, if you take the leaves off like we always do, we've had them last, what, two weeks? Mm -hmm. Especially in water. Foam can be a little bit different. Do you know a price of what this arrangement will be? No. We don't know. But we can figure it out. So, quick trick. So, we're going to take this one bush. Let's say this bush is $14 originally, so now it's like $7. So, getting quite a bit there. The key to working with things like this, though, is you've got to shape all the leaves. Meaning, see all these multiple stems? Well, they all slide. So what you want to do is make sure that you pull them all the way to the top as well as, and since we're going to insert these, and I'm going to be kind of lazy here too, you know me, if I can find a way to get around it, I'm going to get around it. I'm going to pull that green up to the top. So now I'm going to take this one stem and I'm going to put it right here, and then I'm going to weave all this greenery back through it. And 
we'll get Ms. that. Miss Betty one. said she's taking a break from shopping to watch you. She's just sitting in her car in hot oh, Texas. Oh my goodness. Well, keep the car running. Don't overheat now. So is a cutter just for silks or is it for fresh too? Oh, you could do fresh with it, but really silks would be your better bet on that. You don't want to, what I call, smash the stem so much. I mean, it would be fine for like mums and things like that, but in general, you probably would want to save it for just silk stems. So Ms. Anders said, how long does an artificial silk arrangement last in a cemetery if you use the better silks? Uh, the better silks, that's just it. You're not going to gain anything by, by using expensive silks unless you're just about, you know, wanting all that to be prettier than the normal artificial cemetery silks because with the weather, they're just not going to last much any longer than the other stuff. I hate to say that, but... So what we would do now is we take all these extra leaves and we're going to go back and insert these all around the perimeter. Now what you could actually do is take your glue gun or your hot glue and just glue those in just like that. Today I'm just going to insert them in there so you can see what I'm talking about. Just like that. Miss Hope said, what is shopping with the pandemic? She hasn't been out in weeks and weeks. <laughs> so why do you tape the liner down? You didn't tape the liner down. I didn't down tape it. It's just in there so I can pop this out. If I ever wanted to use the bowl again for fresh flowers, sure. it's not a haste to the bowl. So there's that one. So that's, so what do you think about these roses in here, Christina? I think we should or shouldn't. Not. I kind of like it without, but. Okay, never mind. You do you. Next. So I also wanted to show you how you can take inexpensive, I'm talking really inexpensive bushes. Let me show you real quick. This is one about. of my favorite containers that's coming up. I love really? it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the smaller version so, is the so The smaller cute. version. So this is by Windward, and it's inexpensive. It's $46. It'd be great for like a little pot plant, like a three-inch pot plant. So we get these bushes in, and I hate to say this, but I must have been drunk in a ditch when I bought these because I just realized today they've got carna blue carnations and blue peonies. Ooh. Ugh. Nothing, 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 nothing uh, real about this. So what I'm going to do is, and these are actually little hand-tied bouquets already. So what I want to show you is how you can take these apart. I'm just going to cut that off. Just cut all that off just like that. So originally this is $30. So on sale, this is going to be $15 worth of flowers. So we've got white stems. We've got them all different kinds here. I'm going to pull those white ones out. Okay, and then I want to take two of my smaller hydrangeas over there. Oh man, look how they've been made that. That's pretty, they was thinking real smart, not hard on that. I mean, smart, not harder on that <laughs> Janae one. said that was a late afternoon bot. Uh, yeah, uh, 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 yeah. So let's take this and I'm just going to make a simple hand tied. So someone said they missed the start. Were you working with Dry Oasis in that first arrangement? The first arrangement is Sahara Foam, which is a variety of Dry Oasis. You're right. It's what you would typically call it. So there's that. And we'll take this here. So I'm going to take my carnations and my blue peonies real deep. Now I'm going to go back and take this better looking hydrangea and put that on top. And these are, after the discount, $2 a stem. Miss Rhonda said that she finally caught you live. She said, hashtag life goals. <laughs> I hate to say this, but you got to get some higher goals there. <laughs> hey, they enjoy this time with us, just uh, yeah, like we just, do with them. Yeah, exactly. So, by adding that on top, it's kind of like how I always talk about baking a cake. You want to put your prettier things and your more expensive things on top and let these less expensive silks be to the middle, okay? Now we're gonna go back and add more texture. So on this, I really contemplated leaving the white out, but they informed me upstairs that they liked it better with the white because it'll pull the white of the container out more. So I'm gonna give it a little bit of depth by going back on top and pulling these out just a little bit. Okay, 
See what I'm doing? So it's not. Everyone flat. said you can make anything look so good. Oh, you're sweet. So let's. Miss Peggy on. from Macquarie said that she talked to her sister last night, who lives in Raleigh, North Carolina, and all is okay as of now. Oh, good. So let's add one more there. So that's that whole bush, and we've just taken that, and we've added a couple stems of the less expensive silk hydrangea here to that. So what are the white silks in there? Are they they look like be? little bitty uh, clematis almost to me. That's what I'm saying. So I'm just going to tape that around there. And now, oh, huh? go ahead. So now I'm going to actually go back and I'm going to cut this up. Ooh, wrong pair. So does this container come in the bigger size or is there the smaller size? Is this one the bigger or the smaller? I think this is, is smaller? the smaller, isn't it? I think so. So maybe we do have it in one larger size. Uh, no. Uh, we can get it, but I don't think we've got it right Oh, now. underneath? Okay, so maybe we have a smaller one up there. Yeah. Okay. So this is the bigger size, but their one comes in a smaller size. Miss Marie, ask about that. Yeah. I'm going to cut one more piece of this. Miss Karen said watching the happy is the priority of her day. Someone else said that they plan their whole day around the happy. Oh my goodness. Well, y'all get excited because on Friday we have some exciting news. Or it's going to be exciting well, exciting to you. I don't know if they're going to think that's exciting or not. Well, but <laughs> It'll help me. It will, it will be exciting news for you. <laughs> I'm just saying. Don't bust my bubble. I'm not. Do we need all this greenery? Mm, I don't think we need all that greenery. Let's take that one out. Let's cut this one off right here. Chip so, chop. Chip chop. Mm, there we go. Right there. Mr. Raina said she wasn't sure if she was going to be able to watch because she's in Connecticut and I think it's about to hit the oh no of Connecticut, but yeah. she's here and she's happy. Oh, good. Miss Betty said that it, this is an exciting time for her day as well, but she starts work back on the 18th. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Dale said, "You aren't leaving, are you?" <laughs> no. <laughs> no, that's not it. <laughs> Exciting news for us, not for them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so now I'm just going to go back because I know if I try to cut this with those cutters, it'll drive me nuts. And I'm going to catch these just like this. <laughs> Someone said, Is there going to be a, a special guest on Friday? No, that's not it. We are thinking about doing that. Yeah, though. we are. We are thinking about doing that. But not sure what date yet. Yeah, where we would have friends of mine that are designers, and we'll do a split screen. They'll be in different cities, and they will we'll talk about and do stuff together. I think that's the game plan, isn't it? I think it is. So, by Maybe me doing week. that, that's going to give me tension when I put this in here. You know what I'm saying? Well, too much tension. Miss Gale said, do you ever turn the camera around so we can see the person with the narrative? I don't. One day you'll see me though. No worries. What well, time? I can actually see you when you've done those other videos. They have. We did other videos and they're on our Facebook page. So now <laughs> that I've got that. They're, they're asking if they're going to be able to see Christina on Friday or an overhead camera. Y'all know uh, it's too that oh, exciting. Y'all are really asking for a lot for an overhead camera and to see Christine all at one time. So someone asked, why are you bending the stem? So maybe, do you want to tell them again why you bent them? Um, it, because it gives it tension. It, so there's no foam in the bottom of this. So by me bending those stems out like that, it catches in here. So it doesn't fall <laughs> too much one way or the other. Now I'll go back and then I'll pull some of these stems down to give it more roundness. Looks like that. So basically, we've made this arrangement for 30 plus 6. I've got about 
$45 in the whole thing here. So, anyway, not too bad. Pretty cheap. Or, not cheap, inexpensive. 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 With, what do you call those? Not silk flowers, but... What's faux, a faux botanicals. Botanicals, yeah. Botanicals. Faux botanicals. Permanent, permanent botanicals. Permanent. Permanent botanicals, exactly. So, anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed today's happy. It's been kind of fun, and we've killed two birds with one stone because I got a little bit of my work done on the side. And we will see. That didn't turn out too bad at all, actually. No, that's better, cute. Better than I thought. That cute. That cute. Anyway, we'll see you tomorrow. I hope y'all have a blessed evening. Y'all have a safe evening out there if you're in the storms. If you're in California, you watch out for the fires. I mean, mercy me. Everybody else is trying to dodge the virus. Yes. Oh, my goodness. It's just craziness. One thing after the other. So, anyway, we sure appreciate you being with us and joining us, and we'll, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.